Don't you hate it when people speak a language you don't understand? I hate it. Do you hate it, Carrie? The other day I was at the hairstylist and she was talking to me about lifting my hair. Something about a level two, level three. And I was just like, I don't know what you're saying. Just make me look beautiful. And she did. Oh, thank you. We just celebrated our 23rd wedding anniversary, by the way. But anyways, so people often do that in the lending and real estate industry. So today we're going to explain to you a term that you probably hear often if you're applying for a mortgage, and that is your debt to income ratio. So that number is your total monthly debt obligations, including card payments, minimum credit card payments, child support, anything that you have to pay every month, divided by your monthly income. And what that number is, is it's a percentage, and that tells the lender how high of a risk or low of a risk you are in being able to make your monthly mortgage obligation. So, lenders like that number, obviously the lower the better. So they look for it to be around 36 to 40. That means you're pretty low risk. If you get up higher, 48 to 50% lenders feel like you're too high of a risk and they may not give you, they will not cut your throat, but they may not grant you the mortgage. So keep that in mind. And the other tip is do not go out and buy anything major when you are in the process of qualifying for a mortgage. That's gonna throw off your debt to income ratio. Anything else you wanna add, honey bunny, love of my life? Uh, well, great lenders can make uh, make your life a lot easier. We happen to have a, a really, really good lender. He's very communicative, he's very professional, he's very competitive. So if you want a referral, we'd be happy to do so. Give us a call. Carrie, what do you think? Carrie's super hot, it's hot out there. Carrie's like, can we get this video thing done? Because I want my chill. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.